Hello, and welcome to a game called Lake. I'm kind of excited because I feel- I think you just, uh, you're just a male person, or, yeah, and you're in this small town, and it's just really calming and relaxing and visuals, you know? I'm not good at explaining things, so let's just get started. I'm really just hoping that this is calming because I've had a shitty week. I've had finals and stuff, so I'd, I'd really just want to relax, and Fortnite's not really the game for that, you know? I just want to make you guys feel better if you guys, girls, anybody is having a bad day, like I am, but mine's been a bad week, not necessarily a bad day. Huh. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the labor party today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm glad we made the deadline. Are you? And I'm glad I cannot spend two stress-free weeks in a good old Providence Oak. Oh, you're typing this. Oh, it's a diary. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't Ooh, make it. Ooh, I'm hating hope Steve. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you oh, all this, about it. Are we in like an old time, well, like 1980s? Afternoon. Maybe? I, I won't be there for two the weeks, TV remember? And the, the computer. Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right. And the old timey awesome. phone. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. I, I don't like Steve. Steve's a douche. I can already tell. Go away, Steve. I'm trying to relax. Providence Oak, Oregon, September Thanks 1st, so 1986. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Yeah, well, Okay, Frank. Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? Yeah, and let's do that. That sounds, sure. sounds great. All right, then. Get ready to roll. <laughs> Look at the visual. <gasps> Look at that lake. Yes. I love it. <laughs> this is amazing. This lake is always more beautiful than I remember it. I know, that's what I'm I saying. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Who's our first stop? Who? Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and <gasps> Mother tuna. The mail. I got distracted. Oh, well, I'm, I'm in now. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Can I run? I can speed walk. Walk to the mailbox. Okay, I'm going. I believe this is the mailbox. Deliver mail. Here's your mail. Wow, that's it? So easy. You see me, Frank? I did it. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts 22 years ago. Damn. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. That it's wasn't a very long. This time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay, I got you. I got you. I pick up what you're putting down, Frank. Relaxing, delivering mail. You know, I got you. Open hatch. 
Wow, I don't see anything. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. A car. Look at that. Let me get my... <clears throat> Hello? Here's your mail. I got a package for you. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Whatever. God, it's very sensitive. That's the only thing. Like, I'm barely moving my mouse. Hold shift. To oh, I can only walk faster? That is some stupid. I want to run. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Yeah. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there yeah. are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. Frank. I'll bug you about it another time. Look, I know a lot about Next computers, okay? Right around the corner. I can help you, Frank, man. Just what you need. Let's. Oh, it's 1986. Never mind. I wasn't born yet. I'm sorry. Never mind, Frank. <laughs> never, never mind. <sighs> There's no place like home. Sure isn't. <clears throat> Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh my oh, god, the Mets are playing the Giants. Out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check 7 in the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. I mean, Adios. yes. That's totally normal. Ciao. Okay. Oh, oh. Did you see that 360 I did? Bye, Frank. I mean, ciao. Wow. Is this my house? Oh my. Oh, it's my parents' house. Never mind. Weiss Residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Mom. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. That's good. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. Yeah, I I'll bet. call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Bye, Mom. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. Steve, I'm on my, my break, man. For Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well Is that what you're going to say off. next year, too? To a Don't different person? Don't get used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Whatever, Steve. Can't believe I'm working for that douche. He just sounds like a douche, you know? Tuesday, September 2nd, morning. Good morning, Meredith. Morning. Ready for your first day? Oh, oh, I get to pick? Oh, yeah, I'm ready, bro. Good morning, morning Frank. Frank. I'm ready, ready to, to rock. rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Lost me? Yeah, no, knowing me, I'll probably need that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Ciao. <laughs> I'm just gonna say ciao to everybody now. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is the post office. Can I go in here? It looks fancy. Ooh. Who's you? Who are you? Hello. Oh, that's Frank. <clears throat> Never mind. Sorry, Frank. Thought you were somebody. Okay, I'm walking to the mail truck. What's over here? I wanna know, but I can't go through, so it's okay. Gonna walk to the mail truck. <gasps> There's people walking. Wow, that's so cool. I'm in. Oh, I get to drive. <gasps> okay, oh, 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 oh. Okay, sorry. M for map. Okay, map. Let's pinpoint. Letters and parcels. Okay. How do I... Oh, X is place a waypoint. Okay, zoom in. Um, zoom out. Can I zoom in over here? Yeah, here. Let's place the waypoint. There. Alright. And we're up. Oh, it's like right across the street. Okay. How do I drive? <laughs> okay, no cars. I think it's like right... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm not the best driver. I will admit. Ooh. Wait. Where's the package? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I didn't realize it. Oh, cause the okay. I get it now. Cause down there on the bottom left, it's a package or it's a mail. Got it. Where are we? We're on Main Street. That's your package. <gasps> Wait. Now I can see in the inside. That's neat. Hello, General Store. Well, hello. I got a package for you. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. 
Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Yeah, I'm old. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back yep. when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. <laughs> so now you're back, huh? Yeah. I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. You do? I don't want to be... I don't want to be impolite, so you do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. Well... if it's gonna rain today. It's been Nancy, raining a lot lately. I've made it. I'm just taking a break, but I'm not gonna be a dick. A dark room. Dar isn't that for, like, um... Photos? What do you, what do you got here, Nancy? MRX? Root Twinkles! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's pretty nice, Nancy. Well, I'm off to more mail. See, this is the kind of town I would like to live in. You know, it's not big. I mean, besides the giant lake in it. Oh! I'd probably live over here, because I'm gonna. Because it's like by a little thing. And it's. I'm gonna guess forested since you know but it's a little town it's not big like like chicago or s new york i got mail on the same thing right down the street um so i would just i would love to live in a small town where like i wouldn't say there's not a mcdonald's but i mean i honestly don't need a mcdonald's to live is this where i'm going what I'm doing is probably illegal, but that's okay. <laughs> Just act normal. Got mail for you. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Yeah, girl. Meredith, you were gone for 22 years, of course. I would have moved by then. I mean, technically, I don't think I would. Where are we going? Shoot. Okay, we're gonna go here and then I could drive all the way around just to look and then get those ones. I mean that's kinda like a really weird way to do it, but it's gonna let me right well first of all where am I going? <laughs> right. Then a left. Cool. Do I have like signals or anything or no. Is that is it not that advanced? That's okay. But like it's just a small town and yeah, I mean it's nineteen eighty six, so probably not very many stuff, but just look, look at that view. I mean, come on. When I don't just want to wake up and see that. I don't want to see giant Eiffel Tower in front of my face. I mean, no offense, it's probably really beautiful as well, but it's not my thing. I would, for the quietness and just, you know? You probably don't. It's okay. Everybody has different tastes in um, in whatever they want. And there's Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Yeah. 22 years, Meredith. <laughs> oh, package. Oops. Never mind. One sec. So we are on 500 Lake Road. That is... Ooh, big package. Ooh. <sighs> That's heavier than I thought. Yeah, it's a pretty big package, Meredith. Mm, but I just, I think I would like the quiet more than anything. Meredith Wise? Hi. As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional <laughs> gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Well, hello to you, Maureen. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I want to say, well, hello. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. <laughs> oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But Maureen, I do have work to do. Okay, one quick drink. I want to know more about your backstory, so one quick drink. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Well, that's weird. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Yeah. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again. 
Coffee sounds good, thanks. No, really, I'm good. Um, it's like I'm 17 again, because that's like the best option. <laughs> it's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. You know me too well. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Is Ashley okay? <laughs> Ashley? Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Ashley, oh, I... Oh, Lord have mercy. I can't understand you. That didn't sound good, no offense, Mary, but I'm gonna back away slowly. Maybe you should check that out. Um, I'm gonna back away slowly. No offense, Maureen, but I'm gonna back away slowly. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. That's Next okay. time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right, see you later, Maureen. Well, that was interesting. Let's see. Oh, they even have, like, reflections of birds in the sky. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to go all the way over here. That way. So when I back out, we're going to the right. Got it. It's just so calming. You know? It's not a bunch of cars. It's the lake with a couple of people. Well, more than a couple, I'd say, like, mm, a few hundred, maybe? But still, that's not enough to have, like, all these neon signs. Look, there's a farm. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Usually people want, like, a giant modern mansion, and I'm not gonna lie. For a little bit, I wanted one, too. But I don't think I want that anymore. I think I want, like, a cabin. But I don't want to be too far from town, since I watch horror movies every day. So I think I'm too afraid for that, but used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. <laughs> then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the same. <laughs> but it's just... Even just driving around and just seeing this is amazing. I mean, look, it's even got a motel. I think that's what that is. It's just... It's not too big and it's not too small. It's just perfect. Is there a place like this in real life? I think I'm gonna move there. I'm gonna have to find a place like this. I don't care where. Just a town somewhere that doesn't have neon signs everywhere like Las Vegas. That one. I'm pretty sure Las Vegas burned my eyes that one time. It's it's so beautiful, even just in like the tunnel and stuff. All right, my turn's coming up here. I gotta turn the left. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? It's over here. Yeah. And excuse me if I sound sick. I'm, I'm not, but I just kind of have like a little cough. That's all. See, look, even this, this is just amazing. Oh, right. Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Yeah, like this. I'd have like a little. Look at that! This is what I would have. Look, there's a waterfall, and it's a cabin. I mean, it's not a big cabin, but I don't care. Look, it's amazing. Can I see any further? That's, this is what I would want. There's a new face. Hi. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Oh, yeah. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah, last time I saw a human being was about mm, six years ago. Wow. I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. Hi, Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this isn't going to be good. 
Oh, what the? I'll leave it to you. Have a nice day. Um, I'm nosy. That doesn't sound that good. That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. You know it. Not good indeed. I'll be on my way by. The sound can't be worse than the smell. <laughs> yes. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Sorry, man. I know. I was weird. I talked too much. But, like, of course I wouldn't be a lumberjack. And I would go into town. But just... Having a diner and... Kind of living in a town that really didn't age would be amazing. Don't you think? I couldn't live in a place like New York. It's it's too much. I've been there a couple of times and I'm just not the right person for it. I feel like being a male person wouldn't be that bad. I mean, besides getting yelled at for someone's mail being messed up. But I'm not talking about FedEx. I'm talking about like <laughs> normal mail. Like what I'm doing. I got a package, 300 Lake Road. Hello. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. You look a little and young. I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father, does that count? Aren't you a little too young to be a mechanic? I don't know who Thomas is, but let's use that as an excuse. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And oh. I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Alright, I promised. I promised. Alright, alright, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. no. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Right. Lori does look young. Well, everybody's young. So I'm gonna guess something happens to the goose then. Since she's like, every anything ever happens, bring it back to me. Oh, R to toggle radio. Ooh. I don't know if that's copyright or not, but that was interesting. Am I going 25? This feels like a lot faster. Days, I won't even need that map. Uh, I doubt it. I'm not very smart. Oh gosh. Those are cats. Those are a lot of cats. This is definitely illegal. Oh, this is the teddy bear. You get the teddy bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. That's a lot of cats. That's a lot of cats. I don't mind cats. They're not the worst, though. Uh, but they're not the best. Oh, look, Genevieve! A new mailman! Hello there! What's your name, then? Oh, well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'm Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith Weiss. We're going with the mail. Well, I'm not a male man, exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. No, don't worry. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? No, that's why I say why, male, so male person. Of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Yes. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact. I mean, <laughs> who's counting? Oh, God, yeah, I gotta do that one. <laughs> 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? Yes. That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Yeah. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. Oh. She isn't, but 
Yeah, okay, good. So you, you do know reality. Do remember me, don't you? Miss Jenkins? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? No. So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? It's okay, like Miss Jenkins. here. And Thomas and Oliver. I have a friend anyway, named Oliver. Did you have a package for me then? Yeah. It's a, it's a teddy bear. Yeah, here you go. Yes. Here you go. I don't want to tell you what it is. You might want to open ah, it. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Mm. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. I'm gonna go. Well, anyway, gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Yeah. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. That's 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 something, though. Visit their their family as much anymore. Because of all the computers and shit. <laughs> and I guess you people are busy, but like... Still, you don't have to... You don't have to do that. It's not that hard to visit your family. Oh god, I messed up driving. Oh gosh. Oh, I, I passed it. Oh, I live here! <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. Let me turn around real quick. <laughs> I think this is the last one of the day, yeah? That's the last of them. That's what I just said, Meredith. Okay, I'm going to the post office. Where's the post office? <laughs> post office. That's the general store. Post office. Don't worry, I got this. I can park. I might not be able to drive, but I sure can park. See? Look at it. Look at that job. Parking job. I'm amazing. Lease residence two days e Tuesday evening. Oh god, it better not be Steve. Hello. Hi, Meredith. Oh, thank God, it's mom. mom. How are you? How's the job? It's it's great, actually. I'm all right. The job is okay. No, it's great. Hi, mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Yes, oh, it is. That's great to hear. At least for me. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine how that. It must be strange for you as well. Mm, I can imagine that. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a yeah, bar and dad's really ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Stay home and watch TV, stay home and read a book. I'm watching. Mm, yeah, I'll watch some TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Oh, yeah, Bon Appetit. Scene, Henri. Yeah, Henri. he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Alright, so TV kind of sucks. <laughs> when Wednesday, September 3rd. Oh, we're off. We're already at the thing. Okay, Frank, you don't need to talk? That's fine. I didn't... Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're morning. starting the day as we always do with a. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I cut him off, but I had a lot of things to get to. PO positive or pet peeve? Yep. Followed by the weather. PO positive or pet peeve? Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you much, Dale. That I didn't get my get blueberry pie, right Mo. Now. But the weather's first. Yeah, Mo, where's my pie? I didn't get my pie. Come on in, we have new arrivals. The Flick Shack. Oh, <gasps> back to the present. Wow, the Kung Fu Kid. Wow! Don't get me wrong, 
welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Uh, I got, got a, package. a package for you, ma'am. <laughs> Hold on, you're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. I could say the same thing about you. Is that a compliment? <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Oh, is well, it? Thank you, then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. The maze. <laughs> Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I used to live here, and then I didn't. Now I'm back. Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Um, well, I used to live here, <clears throat> and I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must ah. have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Very well, interesting. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So how's business? So your dream was to rent out videotapes. I'm gonna be nice, so how's business? So, how's business? It's... Uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Yeah. Might as well watch a flick, right? Yeah. Well, other than enjoy the scenery, you certainly have a lot of them. Well, well other than enjoy the scenery... Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And <gasps> here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? One on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. Yes. But touche, Angie. All right, I'll check it out. If I have the time, I probably won't get to it. Oh, I'm checking it out. I'm checking All it right. out, Angie. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay. Now, I'm not one of those people to kind of... Was that fruity? <laughs> it seemed a little, 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 just a little fruity. Just, just a little bit. Gremlins. <laughs> the Friendly Dead, the Kung Fu Kid, Repo Woman. LGM. <laughs> This is amazing. Ghost blasters. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. I love it. Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Yeah, no, that seems a little fruity. Don't you think? Just me? Oh, I got mail to do, right? Oh, I parked too close to the car. <laughs> My bad. Uh, uh, that, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Such a bad driver. Who gave me a license? Honestly, biggest mistake to whoever gave me a license. So, Angie. Hmm. Might have to talk to her later. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 104 Pine Street. Oh my god, that reminds me of Gravity Falls. I haven't watched Gravity Falls in so long. Yeah, I bet it's chocolate. I want some chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> from Spongebob, that guy from Spongebob. Chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you um, wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground what? control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Yeah, woo! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute! Commander Grace! Permission to explore? Permission granted! Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans uh -huh. family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. <laughs> Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? What, what, what? Meredith? You know me? 
Buzz Aldrin? Guilty as charged. Buzz? Buzz Aldrin? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? You Wait, sound hurt. What? Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Um... Wait, time out. Did something happen to you guys? Like, I like your earrings, though. Sorry I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. Wow, I didn't expect you to see you here. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. <laughs> You're Kay Evans now? You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes. I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. <laughs> Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. Aww. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. You married Quarter Barry. Had kids? I had no idea. I don't want to be rude. Just, I'm happy for you. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. Yeah. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire. I must have just missed your Uncle Stan. We're going to talk about the kitchen. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. That's I don't great. Be rude. Maybe I I'll feel drop like... by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. Yeah, okay. See you around, Em. Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. So what happened between you and Kay? I mean, old-time besties, yes, but something had to happen. That was, that was a lot of drama I just witnessed. There's your mail. And I'm gonna guess this one over here. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Yeah, maybe. Or serial killer. Either one. Sorry, I just had to throw that out there. It's possible. Um. Man? Should we talk about that parking job you're at? <laughs> I mean, I've done some bad parking, but that is awesome. <laughs> What is that place? I don't want to run this guy over. I should slow down. I'm trying to look and drive and it's not working. Yeah, what are you? You like a doc? I love all the, the visuals as well, like the shadows and even of birds. There was like a shadow of a bird. I'm really close to this guy. Really? You had to turn right? I mean, just... It's so beautiful. Although I do wish there were like other things you could do, like fish, you know, instead of just go home, read a book, watch TV, and then it's the next day. But I did not create the game. This guy is driving really slow. Oh my god. I'm in a mail truck. That's embarrassing for you. <laughs> Was that illegal what I just did? Probably. Who cares? I don't see any cops. Whoa! I didn't look down it. Alright, we're gonna pull to a parking spot. Perfect. Is this a package? Yeah, it's a package. 400 Lake Road. I think this is the last package? Yeah. It's big. Ex excuse me! Yeah, pick it up. I don't know why she didn't. 
I didn't click F. Hello? Hello, sir. Parcel for you. <clears throat> Excuse me? Um, anyone home? Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, sir. Is that a like parcel for me? <laughs> no, it's no, for Bigfoot. It's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, I don't like that guy. Is that what I look like to my mom? <laughs> can you do the dishes? I'm over here playing a game. <laughs> Oops. My bad, mom. Oh gosh, it's the cat lady. Oh, I didn't stop. I just rolled a stop. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Hello, Miss Jenkins. I have mail. Please don't talk to me. Fuck. Meryl, dear! <laughs> so glad you could come It's, it's Meredith. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What? What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Not Mortimer? He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Right. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. He's almost catatonic. He's almost catatonic. Sorry. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. Ah. He'll know what to do. Sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Sure. Ah, sure, why sure. not? Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. I'll take care of her, Miss Jenkins. Can I deliver this last piece of mail before I do? There we go. Sorry, Mortimer. Oh, I can't deliver the mail? Oh my gosh. What is that? That is some stupid... Oh, wait. Is this the... This is on the water. So is that like the dock that I saw that I was confused what it was? Mortimer. We gotta get you to this guy. Oh, it's closed. Shit. Well, I gotta go anyway. Like, even the sound effects of when I'm walking. Hello? <laughs> Is that not where I go? Birds bait and tackle. Oh, over here, maybe? You got some fish? Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What yep. can I do you for? Yeah, I'll Mildred sure Jenkins trouble. tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Uh... Really? I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good? Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. I mean, you do have a bunch of fish here, but... Spongebob? Is that you? Go! That's the last of them. I know, Meredith, I know. I don't know what it is about this game. Maybe I'm just weird. It does kind of remind me of, like, It, though. You know the movie? With Pennywise? 
I mean, I'm not seeing any sewer drains, but just like the houses, they just kind of remind me of the movie. Now I'm talking about the 2017 one, though. I thought that was better than the second one, the 2019. And, uh, yeah, I've seen the old one, but I feel- I forgot that people could say the n-word back then. And I was like, whoa! I was like, oh yeah, this is a different- this is a totally different time. Okay, S Steve, I hope you don't call me. Because <laughs> I know my phone's ringing. Please be mom, please be mom. Meredith, hi. Fucking Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh. Uh, yeah, there's not much to know. I guess. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. Steve. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Steve, that was so bad. I don't even want to reply to you. Uh, I'm not sure, Steve. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. It can't be more than 100 pages. 100 I can just send it to pages. your post office, right? I guess. I guess. Awesome. Steve, well, I'm giving you all the signs here. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. I fucking hate Steve. <sighs> add it, 87. <laughs> Leave me be, Steve. I want to watch The Postman because that was for Rute. All right. Let's watch this. Are we watching it? <laughs> I guess we watched it. I don't know what it's about, but okay. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Who's Tess? Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Uh, I don't know who Tess is. But I think two days of doing mail. Jesus, look at how much mail I have now. And there's like a... Oh yeah, fucking Mortimer's gotta go back here. Somewhere. Service station. Yeah, there's... Um, yeah. I think two days is enough. I hope you enjoyed. I actually enjoyed. There's only a few games I actually enjoy. That's a lie. I enjoy all my games, even when I'm mad at them. After, I'm like, ah, that was pretty funny. This is by far the best game I've ever played. I th think it came out a while ago, so I am pretty late. I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but I didn't. And now it's in the end. So next time, I'm hoping I can talk to Angie. Probably marry her, you know. Just I'm, I don't want to put it too far out there, because I'm like, not everybody's gay. I, I get it. I get it. Not everybody's gay, but... You can't tell me that wasn't just like a tiny bit fruity. They were, like, they were both like, Miss! Like, miss, like, <laughs> I'm not taking it. <laughs> yeah, so. I'll, uh, see you next time.